once again uh, battled back. This time it was a two-goal deficit, but battled back. Uh, what did you see out of the guys tonight that they were able to do to take, uh, come back after that first period? Well, it was a tough game all the way along. Um, you know, I don't think there was a, a change. We, had, we played hard, and, you know, it, it was just that some went in a little bit later on. But, uh, you know, Oak City played really hard. They, they, they had a good weekend. They played hard, and, and uh, again, it was, <clears throat> you know, it could have gone either way. The, uh, are you telling Patrick Nemeth to shoot the puck more? I mean, it looks, it, he only has two goals now, but it seems like he, ha he kind of has that capability when he does put it on frame. He's got a pretty good shot there. He does. He works hard. He works really hard in his game, and, and, you know, he's worked at that a lot. And I think his puck skills have improved this year for sure. Uh, but he, he's played really well. Can you just talk kind of about the, the, I guess, luxury, if you will, of being able to have, you know, Dowling's line plays well tonight, more enough to get special goals. Glenny did well last night. To have these, you know, really four lines that you can roll and click at any time. Yeah, it's nice to have. Um, you know, I think that... Uh, uh, you, you definitely need more balance as you, you know, as you try to go towards the playoffs. So uh, it's good. It, it, it takes guys off, keying off on uh, Moran's line a little bit. I think they're, you know, now they're looking at all our lines, which is good. But uh, um, you know, again, it's you need all those lines to be successful. Like we have lots of guys lines playing well, but every game's a close game. The power play tonight, you guys did score, but you got one just as it expired. There, Do you feel like that was, you know, really a kind of result of just beating them down, if you will. That was a real smart play by Dowling. Like, you know, he, he just put it on the net. He knew the guy was, you know, maybe not going to be quite ready for it. But that was a smart play. And <clears throat> we had some chances on the power play. But, uh, uh, you know, they didn't go. But it's funny if you, you know, he kept battling and he found a way to get one for us. He got two big goals for us in the third. There's a lot of four-on-four four time tonight with matching minors. Do you feel like you guys were lucky to get the matching minors and not go on penalty kill as much? Uh, is that something that you want to talk to the guys to make sure they're, they're not get, being undisciplined? No, I thought our discipline was good tonight. I thought that, uh, you know, the guys were focused and, and uh, you know, I thought, you know, I thought it showed in the third. Like, we, we stayed with our game plan and, and that was, that's what we had talked about. I had, uh, Chris Culligan was on the roster until earlier this week. I know he was released from the ATL. It seemed like he'd been playing well. Was it something where he's just making room for someone else? Uh, what happened with that roster move there? No, he, uh, you know, he was at school and, and he, you know, he, he felt that he, he probably should get back and, and do some class stuff. So we wanted to have a look at him and, uh, um, you know, but once he wanted to get back and finish it off, then we sent him back. So it was up to him. Coach, with the remainder of this homestand, if you will, I mean, broken up by San Antonio now, but, uh, you know, what are you looking for out of, out of this uh, team as you push towards the playoffs? Looking for consistency. We're looking for, you know, cutting down our chances against is, is huge. Um, some nights you just don't score, so you have to make sure you're not giving up a lot. And uh, <clears throat> so we're just kind of looking for that. we got to be better defensively. Okay.